crossings are locked up tight at the Native Education and Training College in North Bay, Ontario. This notice posted on the door dated February 7th states, Due to non-payment of rent arrears, the landlord has terminated the lease and hereby repossessed the premises and there's been no access to online programs for students either. Amanda Weichel dreamed of getting a diploma in human resources management. So last November when she saw the program was being offered online through the Native Education and Training College, she applied. Soon after paying $6,100 in tuition, those dreams faded. And I got a 14-day free trial with my course and the books. Uh, once that program, or well, sorry, once the 14 days had expired, then I had, didn't hear from anybody. Michael is a member of the Pickwaknagam First Nation in Ontario. She was never able to begin the program. Weichel was permanently locked out of the system in December and didn't hear from anyone until January 12th. Finally they had gotten back to me because I told them that I was going to go to the media and get myself legal uh, advice and as soon as they heard that they reached out to me right away and they said that they'd give me my full refund because it was still within the 30 days. So I filled out the paperwork for my full refund on January 12th and after 30 days I still have not received anything. Skylar Sayers is from the Mississauga First Nation in Ontario. He was taking the environmental technician program. Sayers has been locked out too, although his band did pay for the program. In the end there, I did the exam on January 4th and um, I hand in the, like I complete the test uh, or the exam handed in and uh, there's no contact from anybody from that point until like maybe Two, two or three communications from, any, from anybody at that school between then and now. APTN contacted the Ministry of Colleges and Universities about the situation. Its response, the Superintendent of Career Colleges is aware of the students' concerns and is speaking with the parties to facilitate a resolution. In an emailed statement from Larry Stewart, the owner of NETC, he claims someone had stolen the tuition checks from his mailbox and that their online platform platform was hacked and that all the instructors had quit. Ex-instructor Lorraine students, Neal disagrees on that time. last point. She if had worked at the NETC since 2016. In March, Neal asked answers, to be laid I'm off because answers. she wasn't getting paid. And it was frustrating. So that's why I requested to be laid off. But I never got my ROE. They never fired me. I never officially quit. I have no idea where, where I stand. Meanwhile, Waiko wants to be reimbursed. However, she's giving up on any future education endeavors. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, unfortunately, it just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth, and I don't, I'm not going to pursue it. According to Stewart's statement, tuition fees are now refundable and they're working on transferring students to another online platform. In the meantime, the school and available programs continues to be advertised online. Anna Francis, APTN National News, North Bay.